All right, you guys asked for it, so I thought I'd provide it to you. Someone was asking me what the thickness of the actual metal was, depending on sockets. You've asked what the diameter was, how to judge which socket had what kind of tolerance, uh, basically between brands. So we're gonna try out several brands here, and we're gonna be using the veneer caliper to actually take an internal measurement from inside to inside, as well as an overall thickness. Now to keep this fair, I've got SAE, SAE, I've got metric and metric and chrome. We've got impacts and three different versions here and I'm gonna add a Nico one and some Duralast to the mix here just to kind of give us a few different flavors. So let me grab those real quick and we'll start measuring. All right, so I got my little notepad here. We got three eighths in nine sixteenths with Duralast, Mac and Craftsman. And that will be these three here. We're gonna do the thickness and then we're gonna do diameter, inside diameter. And we got 3 8 and 13 millimeter for Duralast, Craftsman, and Snap-on. And then in the half inch, this is the closest thing I can get, that's why the wobble's there. I don't have the uh, regular shallow impact. My assumption is it's gonna be about the same thickness and inside diameter since it is a Pittsburgh socket. We got Harbor Freight, Tecton, Snap-on, and Nico. So let's go ahead and we'll check the uh, overall thickness of the sidewalls. Now these are in chrome, these are in chrome, and the half inch are in impact. <clears throat> so let me just zero everything out. Let's start off with thickness and we will start off with the Craftsman. So overall thickness of the socket 0.097. Now let's check the Mac. Oh, let's make sure we're zero. Yep, that's zero. Okay. Here we're at 0.110. Let's check the Duralast. And the Duralast, we're 0 0.1035, just call it, let's call it 1.04 since we're gonna round up. So let's just say 1.04, or 0 0.104, sorry. And that's for thickness. Now let's go inside diameter to inside diameter. We will start with the uh, Duralast and then we will work our way over to the Craftsman. All right, so inside to inside, flat to flat, hang on. And make sure we're on the flats. It's a lot harder than it looks, especially when the socket keeps moving. Okay, we're at 0.5825, so we'll do 0.583. Oh, just moved. 0 0.583. 0 0.583. Now we'll do the MAC. Make sure we're zero, flat to flat. 0 0.5645, 0.564. So we'll do 0.564. And then we will check the Craftsman. Again, make sure we're zero. And we will go flat to flat. And we are 0 0.572, 0 0.572. And that'll cover the uh, 9 sixteenths. And now we'll move on to the 9 sixteenths. <clears throat> Duralast Craftsman Snap-on. Again, we'll start off with thickness. Make sure we're zeroed out. Point zero eight nine.
And now we all do the Craftsman. Point one one zero. And then we will try the snap on. Point zero eight seven five, we'll call it point zero eight seven. Now we'll do the internal diameter. <clears throat> Again, we're back on zero. We'll go flat to flat. We got 0 0.521, 0 0.521. Set that off to the side. Go to the Craftsman. Again, make sure we're on zero, flat to flat. 0.517. And now we'll check the Duralast. Hang on. Let's get flat to flat here. 0.529, let's do another measurement, socket kind of rolled, 0 0.519, 0 0.519, 0 0.519. All right, now we'll work our way over here to the impact. We'll go with the thickness first. Let's do Harbor Freight. This is uh, 0 0.1485, 0 0.148, 0 0.149, 0 0.149. That's what we got. <clears throat> I know it's hard for you guys to see. Take my word for it. All right, let's make sure we're zeroed out again. All right, take it down. Whoa. 0 0.168. 0 0.168. Try the snap on. Make sure we're zero. Come on, you bastard. 0.168. Point one six eight. Cool. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? Let's check the Nico. Point one seven zero ish. Point one zero. Yeah. I'm gonna call that point one seven zero. Now we'll check the inner diameter and we'll wrap it up. Inner diameter, here we go, Harbor Freight. All zeroed out, flat to flat. We got 0 0.602, 0 0.602. Techie Tone. Again, flat to flat. And we were at, come on, man. Stupid socket. Again, I'm trying to measure this and get the angle for you guys, too, all at the same time. It's extremely hard when I got the socket like this. Hang on. 0.597. It's so hard. Okay, hang on. Fuck. Point six. Come on, man. It's 
struggle is real. If I can just get it to fucking stay. 0 0.598. 0 0.598. Just trust me on this. <clears throat> Alright. That was techie tone. Let's do snap on. Zero. Point six zero one. Let's go, Nico. Point five nine eight. Let's look at some specs. Alright, so I'm no mathematician. And it's getting extremely warm in this garage. It's about 105 degrees, 108 degrees outside. So I'd like to power on some fans, but it's really loud and it's very difficult to try to talk over the fans. And of course, you know, you guys sometimes complain that I talk too loud. That being said, we'll just discuss the layout of the chart that we just performed and did our testing on. <clears throat> so, overall thickness, 3 8 All right, so now let's talk about the various thicknesses and inside diameter of each one of these sockets. You guys can do your own math, you can do your own research and figure out how close the tolerance for that specific bolt head it is because I'm no mathematician. And let me tell you, after looking at about 10 charts, I still didn't understand what I was looking at. So from a nuts and bolts perspective, AKA the greasy monkey, I'm just gonna tell you what it was that we found using the veneer caliper and which one I believe had the thicker wall or had the uh, tighter diameter based on the sockets that we checked out. First one up. First one up, let's start with the 3 8 drive chrome socket 9 16 Duralast. The uh, thickness of the socket was 0 .04, so it was kind of in the middle of the three that we checked out. The MAC was 0 .110, being the thickest of the bunch. The Craftsman was 0 .097, being the thinnest walled socket of the bunch. Let's talk about the inside diameter, which one was bigger, which one was a tighter tolerance. Surprise, surprise, MAC. 0.564 inside the sidewall to sidewall inside diameter had the tightest specification of the three. Duralast was 0.583 coming in at the uh, the biggest gap. So Duralast being a little bit loose on the tolerance side. Craftsman being right in the middle, 0.572. All right, now let's jump over to the 3/8 13 millimeter chrome sockets. Duralast Snap-on Craftsman. For overall thickness of the socket wall itself, um, Snap-on actually, the thinnest one being out of the bunch was Snap-on 0.087. The uh, second thinnest one of the bunch, 0 0.089 for Duralast. And the thickest one of the bunch being Craftsman, 0 0.110. Now let's talk about inside diameter to inside diameter, and this might actually blow your mind, but Snap-on actually being a little bit loosey-goosey on this one, 0.521 for inside to inside diameter. And Craftsman, 0.517 being the tightest of tolerance for the 13 millimeter. And then Duralast meeting right there in the middle, 0.519. Now we're gonna jump to the half inch and then we'll wrap it up. So let me go ahead and circle the winners for certain ones here first before I get too sidetracked. So I don't know if thickest is necessarily better, but we'll just go that route. So, thickest, and then the tighter tolerance. And then we'll go with the uh, thickest and the tighter tolerance. All right, now let's jump down here to our half inch. Harbor Freight, thickness, 0.149. Surprisingly, the thinnest one of the bunch. Uh, techie Tone. 0.168 snap on 0.168 and then Nico coming in at the thickest 
0.170. So now let's go ahead and cover inside to inside and see which one had the tighter tolerance. Uh, Harbor Freight, 0 0.602. So they actually had a uh, more loosey-goosey kind of socket, if you will. Techie Tone, 0.598 having one of the uh, tighter tolerances. Snap-on, 0.601, just under Harbor Freight for the loosey-goosiness, and Nico, 0.598, tying it up for inside uh, tightest diameter with Techie Tone. So, we'll read our results here so you guys are aware of who did what. So coming in, we'll just call it uh, the best of the best for 3 8 SAE sockets, MAC being the uh, thickest wall and the tightest tolerance. For 3 8 drive, 13 millimeter standoff, Craftsman, thickest wall, and Craftsman, the tighter tolerance. For half inch, and uh, we were covering 15 millimeter if I didn't already mention that for all of them, Nico with the thickest wall. And Nico and Techie Tone tying it up for the tightest tolerance for impact sockets. So, the veneer caliper don't lie. Again, if you want to know what the actual inside diameter should be for your wrench or socket, I encourage you to Google it. Or, if you're really good at math, you can figure it out. But that's all I got for this video. Look, what do I think of these overall products so far? We're going to end up doing several reviews on them over time. The uh, Techie Tone video will be over on Client Graphics channel. I'll put his link down in the description for that one. Uh, we will cover what I think about the Harbor Freight Impacts in another video. And when I get some more use and abuse out of the Nikos, then I will let you know. But you guys feel free to share with me down in the comments what you think about this little test that we did. Was it worthwhile in doing or did I sweat for no reason? That's all I got for this video. Cheers to those of you that have your beers, and I hope you're getting ready to kickstart a super awesome weekend. Till next time, doses.